Hello, I'm Dr. Derek Malachik, adjunct faculty at Iowa Western Community College on Low Refs. Today, I will be talking about the NMEA Nebraska All-State Jazz Audition Etude for Trombone. This is Etude B1, and it is a swing ballad composed by Dr. Eric Richards. This etude is unique in that it is a contrafact over another piece, specifically the A sections, or the first mini melody section of Satin Doll by Duke Ellington. In order to play this etude, there are some things that on trombone and in jazz in general that we can do that we don't necessarily do in classical. One of those is ghosting notes. And this comes in when you have a long passage and you're worried about making sure you can get to the note in time or and accurately. So one example of this can be found on the second four bars of letter A. Notice how I didn't entirely play the F sharp on that first bar. Listen again. It's kind of slowly cut out there. And that's a great way to play something that is technically challenging like that. Other things to remember on this etude are alternate positions. I would play on two bars before B. It is marked, suggested, to play the D in flat four rather than in one. And the reason why you'd want to do this is you have a movement of four, four, and three rather than four, one, and three. This also allows you to accent that top note, which is not a note that you'll want to ghost. Another place to do this is on the bar six of section B, where you have a sharp two for the high G. Again, it's just going back and forth rather than, oh, we're gonna go all the way out, etc. In jazz, you want to have a smooth slide, you want to have a smooth sound, and you want to also use a lot more wrist action necessarily than you would in classical. Also, bring out the dynamics and em emphasize the articulations. First note of A is long. Say the third, you know, the third beat of our B is short, but with a house top over it, so that is a strong accent, strong dot accent on that note. Staccato would be dot. Legato would be da. Don't need to be necessarily be connected but a smoother swing is going to sound better on this than a really, than like a really um, Mickey swing. And that brings me to another point with, eighth, with swing eighth notes. It is not a dotted eighth sixteenth feel. It is not a two triplet with last triplet on it feel. It just kind of, it's more of a laid back, almost closer to a straight eighth note than you would might think. Do ba do ba do ba do. On the improvisation, things to consider are sequences. The one thing nice about playing the A section over, or just the first half of Satin Doll, is you have so many sequences to choose from. You can play for those first four bars a line like this. And then note the last, the second two bars is that you can play that same passage a whole step up. The second four bars really emphasize this with just a one bar sequence or two bar sequence like this, where you're playing from A minor to D7, or D9 in this case and then A flat minor to D13, D flat 13. It's a 2-5, so it's a 2-5, 1-2-5 in G, the A being the two chord, 
the D being the five chord, and then the other one is a two, five, and G flat, the A flat being the two chord, the D flat being the five chord. So you can play a line like this. <laughs> And that covers all four of those changes. The other thing you can do here is quote the melody of Satin Doll, if you know the melody of Satin Doll. <laughs> and so forth. I will now demonstrate this etude with a chorus of improvisation in full. This concludes the lesson over the slow etude for Nebraska and MEA Allstate on trombone. I wish you the best of luck on your audition, and I hope you have a wonderful day.